In this short video, you will see how this time management instrument works. Note that in quantitative courses, you will be often exposed to Excel. Those are courses that include mathematical functions as well as statistical functions. Here, when we begin, you see that there is a drop-down menu right next to each cell that you click on. These have been created by using a data validation. Data validation are rules that can be set up within cells to only allow specific options. These can be lists or other things such as a date format or a time format. In this case, you've been given a list from which to choose what time of day you conduct a particular activity. Here you see that the chart has become populated. This is happening because the table beneath the one that you are completing has been populated with formulas that tell it to perform a certain function. In this case, it is looking to count how many times the term family time has been entered into the cells above. The cells above are those that are highlighted with a blue box around it. Excel works by applying many functions to cells which you populate with data. All of these cells underneath have the function to count, and then in the dark gray area you find a function of sum. The sum is adding up all of the numbers above it in this case, and the sum over here for category is adding up all of the numbers to the left. Again, here you see the blue box around it. In this case, it is adding up how much family time you've spent. The chart here is populated by the day of the week and the categories. So each of these columns turns into one column in the chart. This chart here that is a pie chart is populated by the numbers at the last column that sum up the number of times the category has been selected for the entire week which is all of these numbers in here. The chart above is a stacked column and shows you values. If you hold your cursor momentarily over a given color section, you will see a little box that shows you the category, the date, and the value, which in this case is nine, for sleep. That means that nine hours are being spent sleeping on Monday. On the blue section, you see that 11 hours are being spent at work on Monday. The pie chart is set up to provide you the percent of time for the entire week spent at one or the other areas. In this case, the data is not fully populated, so you're only seeing the results for Monday. When we move over to the sample worksheet, you can see that for the entire week, a person may be spending about a third of their week sleeping, another third working, and the last third is broken down into smaller proportions, including 17% schoolwork. In your quantitative courses, you may be required to conduct mathematical and statistical functions to produce numbers using data. Some of the Excel functions that you may be using include the sum function, which you were introduced to in the form, and which adds up values for you. Down here, you can see it is equal, sum, open parentheses, the options, and then close parentheses. All of the functions use the equal, the function name, and open parentheses as a standard. Another function would be the product function, which multiplies. The average function finds the average or mean of a certain data set. The max and the min function serve to the same purpose, one finding the highest number, the other finding the lowest number. And the median function finds the center point of a data set. 
You can find a full list of functions available through the office.microsoft.com website by searching Excel functions by category.